right. Gunner and I, we're here doing this uh, reservoir that's dropped really low. This isn't my first time here, but it's a huge area. And we're camping, and tomorrow, probably hike to the back of the lake, but I just found my first cool thing. Look at that. It's like a copper pendant. It looks like an onk. It's awesome. So that was ringing up like a penny. Love it. Let's see what else we can get. All right, it hasn't been very long. I got some cloud and stuff, but look. Yeah, you got me a nice belly button ring here. This one might be silver. So I have this kind of rock right here, and I was just thinking, man, I wonder if people are jumping off this sucker. All right, let me check this out. I'll see if it's got a mark, and if it does, I'll get right back to you. I don't see a mark, but I also see some copper coming through, so I'm going bling on that one. All right, I think I got me a ring. Where is it? Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, let me clean it up a little. Okay, so if you take a look at that, it's got kind of a cool inlay and it's a bunch of writing in there, but it just says Triton, Tungsten, patent number. One time I got a 14 karat gold inlay tungsten. That was pretty cool. But I'm not uh, seeing anything that uh, makes me think there's any kind of special inlay. It just looks cool. All right, this was kind of a solid 10. Let's keep going. Man, I thought I had a penny. I'm just kind of kicking. Look at that. Give me a chain with a pendant. Oh, and look at that. It says 925JC. Oh, that's, <clears throat> that must be Jesus Christ. 925. <laughs> that's kind of weird. I wonder. Let me uh, sort this chain. Hold on. Well, the chain looks good, but it is not marked, so... It's probably junk. I don't know. Be kind of weird, though, to have a pendant that's silver and not a chain. But look, it's also latched. So I wonder if somebody took it off to go swimming and left it. All right, sweet. Get some stuff. Look at that. You got me a little rainbow. Did I say my awesome dog Gunner came? Look at him. Boom. All right, Gunner and I made it back here. About a three mile hike back to this big old swimming hole. So hopefully, now what's crazy is of course, I've just been kind of working rocks over here. It doesn't look great, but I already have a handful of clouds. And I'm hoping we can get a nice piece of jewelry or something old, because you know, people have been coming here since the late 1800s. So hopefully there's an old coin or cool relic around here. But man, this place is beautiful. All right, see what we can get. So this is kind of funny. <laughs> Just walking the bank on the way back. All I got was clad up there, a little disappointing. But I just stumbled into a quarter. <laughs> I'm get two quarters. Why not? There's a nice green penny. So I'm right under this kind of rock thing and I was thinking, well, maybe someone jumped off this a few times. You guys, it looks kind of like there's a climbing rope over here. And it looks like it broke. Nickel. There's a horseshoe right on top. Well, that's been rough. I ain't gonna lie. Mostly bullets, fishing lures, but Gunner's sure having a fun time. He's running all over the place. <clears throat> this is how many miles we put on today. <laughs> Gunner never lays down. <clears throat> I think I broke him. 
You can't believe it. All day, walking forever, it's on the surface. Look at this. Oh, I thought it was going to be a Indian head. It's a barber dime, baby. Whoa, now that is worth it. Okay. I'm not going to scratch it. Let me, uh, let me wash it in the lake here. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. I threw on my close-up lens. That's an 1892 barber. So first year barber, I believe. I find out I'm wrong later, but awesome. So anyways, what happened is, if you can see, I've just been going through these lock, rock slides, and then all of a sudden, I was like, hey, look at this big iron. I think maybe an old stove pipe or, I don't know, stove pipe. <laughs> An old stove or something. Stove parts. So, turn my detector back on and boom, there it was. I can't believe it's peeking out though. That's amazing. Alright, let's see if there's anything else right here. Okay, same area. I think I just popped a button. Some kind. Oh. Another train button. Man, my collection of these is getting huge this year. Awesome. Alright, I might find a little hot spot. Alright, looks like I got train button number two. Or locomotive. I don't know what you call them. It's got another button something on there but I'm not sure what that one is some sort of design on there though okay number two of that last button that I don't know what the picture is these are coming up all like 9 10 11 oh look I think I see one here on the surface <laughs> yeah look at that another train button right on the surface Jeez. Hey, is that one a train? Yeah, that one's a train. Another one. I'm losing track. <laughs> well, that looks like part of an old button. I think maybe the middle fell out. There's definitely some sort of writing on all the edge there. All right, another one. Boom, I'm in the button mother load. It's crazy. What a small little spot, too. So I heard another 12. Moved a rock. Surprise. Another button. Okay, you want to do one live? So it's kind of a sporadic, you know, 12, basically. Let's see. Where are you? I hate trying to dig with one hand, but it's the best way to give you guys good camera work. Yep, there it is. Look at that, another button. All right, this is just getting weird. You know what? Another button, same one, I think. But this one's actually got some green on it. That's kind of cool. Awesome. I don't know why there's so many. This is seriously like a 20 by 20 spot right here. All right, another button. This one's in real bad shape, though. There was actually two buttons in that hole. Look at this. Screaming four. I look down, right on top. Another button. Now we're talking. Look at that. 
you got some suspension. Oh, a couple of them. Look at that. Boom, three of them. One hole. Jeez, this place is just loaded. Yeah, so I threw my pack on. I'm starting to move. Still finding them. I guess I'll just show you the area. That's it. And I just don't know. What always comes to mind is why. <laughs> why were so many people in this little spot? Or how did one person lose so much stuff? I mean, if the coin dates it, you know, 1892, like what were they doing right here? Like this is just a non-precious rock slide looks like to me. So, I don't know, fishing? I'm just not sure, doesn't make sense. You tell me guys. Look, we got ourselves a water snake, you see him? Okay guys, I'm down the beach just a little ways. <laughs> and I think I did it again. Oh man, look at that. Another barber. Oh, all right. Let me wash it up and I'll get you guys a close up. So this one says 1906. Man, this is awesome. Two barbers in a day. I ain't done yet. Look at that old slug. Awesome. Man, this is just turning epic on me. I can't believe it. You know what, let me clean it up, but that's a V-nickel. Yeah, it's crazy. 1898, the onslaught continues. Man, I'm gonna have to come back here with my scoop and go out in the water. This is crazy.